Uh, what's going on you guys? So a few people have been asking me about this Peterbilt. It was in one of my videos before. So this is an 84 Peterbilt 359 extended hood. Done a bit of work to it so far. I switched the wheels, tires. Just cleaned up the inside a little bit. Changed a few of the lights, the fender lights. I got a new visor for it, I haven't put on yet. Stainless steel front bumper. And this is my other truck right here. This is an 87 Max Superliner. I actually just sold this thing, so I'll be selling this today. They're coming to pick it up right now. So if you've never seen one of these trucks, I'll show it to you. This is an 87 Max Superliner. It's got an E6 Mac motor in it. It's a real clean truck. This truck came from South Carolina. It's a double frame and it's real clean. If you take a look, it's like a frame within a frame. And usually these things are all rusted and the frames are all like pushed apart from rust. This one's real clean. It's got Mac rears in it. No rust on the cab anywhere. So right there's the two trucks. Let me know which one you like better. So inside it's got the Corvette dash. They call it a Corvette dash because it looks just like the 60s Corvette dashes. It's got a freshly overhaul cat 3406B with a 15 speed deep production transmission. Interior definitely needs a little bit of work. The floor is a little worn out and faded right there. Passenger seat's okay. Driver's seat's pretty torn. Interior's not bad. I put a new mattress in it. And the rest of it's in good shape. I got this from never really slept in the back. You more use it as like a big toolbox. Definitely loose. This is the battery box. This is actually supposed to be up there. So I'm gonna put all that back to factory. I just put these Hoge built quarter fenders on it. And some Peter built mud flaps. It used to have like a big T-bar in the back and big fiberglass fenders covering both wheels. I didn't really like that look. There's ones on the mat, that's pretty cool. Now let's check out the inside of the Mac. Mac's just a real basic truck. Not a fancy interior at all, but I kind of like it. I always thought that was what was cool about the Mac. This is just a nine speed Mac Trans. Let's start this thing up. Right there is just the air buzzer that stays on so it gets about 60 pounds or so of air pressure. This truck runs good at first, like a can, it's got 292,000 miles. 